Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Augustine. And I welcome you to my series on differential equations. This is lesson two on separable differential equations. Now, how do we solve this uh, question by using separation of our variables? Now, let's go through it. But before that, remember to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button for more videos. Now, let us separate the variables. Now, if you look at this one, uh, this one is a uh, dx. So what do we do? Let us multiply two by dx. So we multiply here by dx, and then we multiply here by dx. So here this dx will cancel this dx, and we are going to have into bracket x plus one dy equal to x times y squared plus one dx. Now we are separating the variable. So here y squared plus 1 should come here and then x plus 1 should also go here. So how do we do that one? Let us divide this by x plus 1 times y squared plus 1 and divide here also by x plus 1 times y squared plus 1 so that x plus 1 will cancel x plus 1 and y squared plus 1 will cancel y squared plus 1 and we have separated the variables that is very simple so we are going to have 1 divided by y squared plus 1 dy equal to x divided by x plus 1 dx now we can integrate to find the general solution. Now let us do the integration. So I'm going to have the integral of this and then the integral of this. Now how do we do the integration for this one? Let me do the integration here. We have the integral of uh, 1 on y squared plus 1 dy. So here we will let y equal to tan u and now we are going to have dy equal to sec squared u du because if you differentiate tan u you get sec squared u now we are going to substitute y and then dy into this so we are going to have the integral 1 divided by y is tan u so we are going to have tan squared u plus 1 times sec squared u du. Remember that if I have tan u squared is the same as a tan squared u. That is what I've done there. So from basic trigonometric identity, we know that 1 plus tan squared u is equal to sec squared u. So here in place of tan squared u plus 1, we are going to put the sec squared u. So we are going to have uh, this to be equal to the integral 1 divided by tan squared u plus 1 is sec squared. So I write sec squared u dot sec squared du and here sec squared will cancel sec squared and we are going to have the integral 1 times du is du and if we integrate du we are going to get u very simple as that so here this implies that the integral of 1 divided by y squared plus 1 dy is equal to u but this u is here so let us find u and then come and put it back here in terms of the y because we are integrating this with respect to uh, the y. So from here, we have y equal to tan u. This implies that tan inverse of y is equal to u. So in place of this u, we are going to put here tan inverse of y. Very simple. So this implies that the integral of 1 on y squared plus 1 is equal to tan inverse of y. 
because tan inverse of y is equal to u. So now we've integrated this. Let's put this one there. We have a uh, tan inverse of y equal to. Now we have to integrate x divided by x plus one. Now this one, the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. So you have to integrate it using partial fraction. So let us break this into partial fraction. Now we have x divided by x plus 1. So how do we do this one? We have to divide. We have to divide. So let's divide. So we have x divided by x plus 1. x goes into x1. 1. 1 times x is x. 1 times 1 is 1. So let me add plus 0 here to fill the constant term. So let me do it once again so that we get it. So you have x plus 1 going into x. So x will go into x 1. 1 times x is x. And 1 times 1 is positive 1. So there's nothing here, so I add nothing. And then do subtraction. x from x is 0. 1 from 0 is negative 1. So this is the remainder. So we are going to have um, 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1. If we divide this by that, this is the answer that we are going to get. Remember that if you divide 7 by 2, you get uh, here to be 3 remainder 2. Sorry, 3 remainder 1. So we write it as 3 whole number 1 out of 2. That is what we've done here. This is 1 whole number negative 1 out of x plus what? 1. Or you can write it as positive 1 here, sorry, positive here, and then you put negative 1 here. Anyway, so it implies that if we want to integrate this one, we are going to have the integral x divided by x plus 1 is equal to the integral of this. So the integral of 1 plus negative 1 divided by x plus 1 dx. Now let us multiply 2 by the dx. We are going to have the integral of dx minus the integral of 1 on x plus 1 dx. Now if we integrate dx, we will get x. If we integrate 1 divided by x so plus 1, we are going to get ln. So I have negative ln x plus 1 plus the constant c. So now we are going to put this one here. So we have x minus ln into bracket x plus 1 plus c. Now, I want to get the board. Okay, I can use here. We have tan inverse of y is equal to this. So what does it mean? It means that y is equal to this. Let's look at it. If I have tan theta equal to a, this implies that a is equal to tan inverse of theta. Very simple as that. So if I want theta, what do I do? If I want theta, what do I do? I'll just find tan of a. Sorry, 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 sorry. This implies that theta is equal to tan inverse of a. So if I want a back, I have to find tan theta. Very simple as that. So if tan inverse of y is equal to this, then it follows that we are going to have y equal to tan into bracket x minus ln x plus 1 plus c. Now let me clean this portion so that I'll get the board to write this very well. So I'm going to have y is equal to tan into bracket x minus ln x plus 1 plus c. That is the constant. So this is the general solution for the differential equation. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.